Pakistan has undergone a profound transformation from being a nation of conventional practices to one of progress and high living standards where consistent and bold economic policies have started yielding results. Pakistan is rapidly emerging as an international venue for business opportunities and investment. The country is widely known as the cradle to one of the oldest civilizations of the world and reflects an advanced urban culture that flourished over 5,000 years ago. Pakistan emerged as a sovereign, independent nation on August 14, 1947, and is now home to a population of over 150 million. The people of Pakistan proudly share diverse regional, political, lingual, religious identities, and extravagant cultural traditions and conventions. They mutually share a living tradition of values and hospitality, and their love for others is an evident feature of their character and behavior. They are warm, tolerant, supportive, and welcoming. Although Urdu is the native language in the country, English is also widely understood and spoken. Pakistan has entered an era of maturity. There are numerous sector-specific initiatives for different services and industries in areas as diverse as health care and education. The government has accorded full recognition to the fundamental responsibility of providing high-quality education to all, reducing the gender disparities at all levels, encouraging private investment, making education purposeful and job-oriented, and upgrading the quality of higher education by encouraging internationally recognized research in universities have been the top priorities in the recent years. Pakistan rapidly advanced from a traditional society to a thriving nation that is an essence of modernity and global commerce. Modern skyscrapers with the latest architecture, luxurious housing schemes, lavish shopping malls, hotels and resorts have now painted Pakistan as a dynamic nation on the globe. Residents and visitors are spoiled for choice when it comes to shopping. Practically all famous and high street brands from around the world are available now. Karachi, Lahore and Islamabad in particular are peppered with colorful malls and plazas that house hundreds of technology shops too. Most of these are small stores, offering mind-boggling bargains and repair services for almost any computer or technology product. The tech enthusiast finds everything from the latest mobile phones to extremely reasonably priced electronic gadgets. The cost of living is relatively within means, thus many expatriates enjoy a high standard of living and families flourish in a healthy and sunny environment, hence increasing the rate of inward foreign remittances. Healthcare in Pakistan is also government sponsored, but over the years, private healthcare providers have also emerged, facilitating the society and increasing the quality of the healthcare sector. Programs of immunization against common diseases have been implemented through outreach and mobile teams. They focus primarily on reducing the number of cases like polio, malaria, and typhoid. The economy has been showing consistent growth as evident from the ever-growing gross domestic product. The share of the agricultural sector's contribution to the GDP is around 24%. Macroeconomic indicators are looking up. The engineering and manufacturing sector, which has been showing an average growth of 8%, now significantly contributes towards the GDP. The government's budget deficit has fallen to 2.4% of gross domestic product, from 6.1%. Foreign reserves have swelled to U.S. $12 billion. Pakistan's commitment towards a market-based economy is supported by the various economic liberalization reforms and investment packages. The government also actively supports local and foreign businesses to invest in all types of vital sectors, especially energy, 
information technology, education, transportation, healthcare, and communication. Pakistan's economy is far more deregulated, liberalized, and integrated with the global market than ever before. Strategically located between Iran, China, Middle East, India and Afghanistan, nations generously gifted with massive trade and cultural assets, Pakistan is now becoming the obvious choice for multinational companies wishing to tap into the lucrative Middle East, subcontinental and Central Asian markets. The country is immensely rich in engineering and textile sectors and is considered as one of the market leaders and players in exporting worldwide. The current government has moved forward more rapidly in implementing reforms than attempted by previous governments in Pakistan and has become successful in progressively rebuilding Pakistan's credibility and has re-established confidence in public institutions and improved the investment climate, thus earning excellent sovereign rating by Standard & Poor's and Moody's. The Karachi Stock Exchange, the main stock exchange in the country, has been awarded the best performing stock exchange in the world for the past two years. Besides Karachi Stock Exchange, the other two stock exchanges have seen considerable growth both in market capitalization and the number of listed companies. Further steps are being taken to integrate the Pakistan stock market with the international markets to regulate the capital market. Pakistan's recently well-developed financial sector has over 45 local and foreign banks in operation, which have a strong network of branches all over Pakistan. Apart from these, the financial sector consists of a number of development finance institutions, investment banks, and leasing companies. Pakistan has the business heritage, regulatory framework, infrastructure, and entrepreneurial capabilities to provide a stable, enriching business environment for global businesses in a range of sectors and offer secure, rewarding investment opportunities for global investors, thus ensuring Pakistan to be a nation with diversified arenas of growth and prosperity.